Hello Gemini, welcome to your mid-month October going into November reading. Happy Halloween, I've got my uh, Halloween candle here set out for you. Let's have a look at your oracle cards here Gemini. I have a feeling that there's something that you've been working at really, uh, really difficult work. I feel it's something that it's, it's either related to your career on the job or it's something that you're studying. It feels like there's a lot of work involved there and you're taking a little bit of time at this point to, uh, it feels like uh, maybe taking a mini break, maybe only a few hours, but for some of you it's a little bit longer than that. So I do get uh, a time for vacation or a holiday here, but again not a huge amount of time. I've got Eternal Love and I've got Amara, the Menahune, Aloha Healing. So I don't feel that you're going to Hawaii. Now some of you could be in Hawaii of course, but uh, for most of us we can't actually get to Hawaii these days, though we would like to. So it may just be bringing the spirit of the islands to a place that's around you. You know, it could be your favorite restaurant that has kind of a tropical motif. Or it could just be your backyard, you know, wherever feels more relaxed at the present time. There is love around you. It could be enduring love or it could be a sign that there's new love around you at the moment and you're spending time with that person. So let's see where this goes, Gemini. Could be you, could be someone around you. If you're cross-watching, could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Bottom of the deck, I've got you here as the Queen of Cups, but you're in the reverse. So I do feel, emotionally speaking, there's something that you've been finding quite tumultuous in the recent uh, time period. It's about a choice. I feel like you have some kind of choice. You may have recently made a choice or you're about to make an important choice here, uh, Gemini, about your future. I do feel that it involves leaving something behind that feels heartbreaking. You may be taking this period of time away from study or what you're working towards here in order to heal and uh, to try something new. It feels like something new around you. Yes, it, it feels like there's a, an energy around you of, I, I get a, a, a bit of exhaustion, a bit tired energy around this study or this work that you've been doing. But there's also this thing that you're healing from. It could be a relationship or something that you've recently ended. So let's see where this goes for you, Gemini. Let's start with a uh, signifier for you, where you currently stand, where you hope to stand with this in the future, how you're viewing the other person, how you have perceived them in the past, your doubts and fears, what's happening in your environment that's affecting you and the potential outcome. Now for the other person that you're dealing with, and remember either side can resonate, so please take whatever side resonates the most. Sometimes I'll let you know if I'm picking up particularly strong masculine or feminine energy, but sometimes it's hard to tell exactly. We've got this person with the Ten of Wands, so I also get this individual as someone here who is struggling with a number of burdens at the present time. I've got Queen of Wands energy. Okay, Could be a fire sign that you're dealing with here, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius or just someone who has a lot of responsibilities. It feels to me like this person is a lot of fun to be around. There's joy. And I also get this person is quite good at something that they do. And we also have the tower energy here. Yeah, this person's rebuilding. I get they're rebuilding their life. This person is currently rebuilding their life. It's almost a, a feeling that I'm getting around this person of uh, inspirational, enterprising, entrepreneurial, could be a mentor, someone like that. So let's see who this is. We'll get a card which signifies them, where they currently stand, where they hope to stand with this in the future, how they are viewing you here, Gemini, how they've perceived you in the past, their doubts and fears, what's affecting them, 
in the environment and the potential outcome. Okay, let's take a look here. We've got the chariot and the ten of pentacles. Okay, now not bad at all. Gemini, I feel that you're at a crossroads at the moment. You're standing, wondering what to do next. I feel for you, there's a build up behind you. I'm getting you building up to this moment. But now it's crunch time. It feels like you have to make some kind of choice, a decision. This other person around you, I feel, is someone that you've been in a, uh, in a family relationship with or a, a traditional commitment. This person is building a legacy. I feel that this person is someone who you are invested in. I feel like there's some kind of not only history but I'm feeling it's more than that. I'm feeling like there's building up of finances here. For some of you it's a marriage, for others of you it's a strong commitment that's like a marriage. And at the present time I've got you here with the Six of Cups and for them I've got the King of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, I feel I feel like this person at the present time is somehow not feeling their best. And I get that there's something around you from your past here. I, I feel that there's another choice here, a decision that you have to make. Gemini, I feel you've got this fire sign around you. But I feel that there's also somebody here that's come back from the past that is making some kind of gesture to you, helping you out in some way. Let's see where you hope to stand with this in the future. We've got the Two of Cups in the reverse. For them, we've got the Nine of Wands. Okay. So, all right. So I feel that you've already taken this move, Gemini. I feel that you're currently with someone a past relationship. Now, it could be a past life relationship as well if you actually have not known this person for very long but I feel for some of you this is something that's come back from the from the past it's not this person it's not this person I do feel that this king of wands character here still wants this ten of pentacles with you they want you to remain in this more traditional type of uh, commitment you're not certain though. I feel like you're trying to make a choice here between this person from the past and this person that you're, you, you have been with recently, possibly for a number of years. This individual is still this fire sign energy that I'm picking up. I'm picking up male energy on this side, guys. This side here, I'm picking up feminine. On the masculine side, I feel like they are really wanting to keep trying at this. They want to persevere. They have recently uh, suffered a blow, I feel, because you have possibly chosen a different direction here for a time. Yeah, let's see. How are you viewing this person? The Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I do feel that there's been conflict here because you have moved away from this individual. You may have moved away from them because of some conflict, but you're trying to smooth it over. You're trying to make peace. How they are viewing you, the Three of Cups, they're seeing you as someone here who is spending time doing things that are more uh, playful. I get a playful energy. Yeah, they see you as someone who's out socializing, uh, having fun with friends, uh, this past person as well. So it seems like you've given up on something here. I've got it as you, Gemini, but it can flip out, so please take whatever side resonates the most. I've got the masculine here still wants this relationship. 
I feel like the Gemini that the feminine energy is has looking at something from the past and it's still trying to make a choice I feel that you're you haven't decided fully although you've already taken this move mm. you may be starting to question this past person how you've perceived the masculine in the past Gemini we've got the eight of wands how they've perceived you the nine of swords in reverse yeah I, I do feel that in the past this uh, fire sign this masculine energy has been quick to respond they quickly uh, responded to to you I feel like that whatever you reached out whatever you said something there was you got a response so I feel like they responded to this situation very quickly and wanted to heal it I'm getting that strong energy they wanted to make it right now how they've perceived you in the past here Gemini they've known that that there's been some kind of stress worries that you've been going through a difficult time and they've seen that they've seen you struggling trying to heal your doubts and fears we've got the ten of cups in reverse you're doubting whether or not this this relationship here with this longer term partner this masculine energy is the right thing for you at the present time but you're still uncertain because you don't know where this is going either this past situation I don't feel that you're fully I don't feel that you're fully knowledgeable about either one of these things this feels to me like something that is going to be a learning experience for you Gemini I do get a strong energy that you've done this because it has some kind of connection to either your work or schooling maybe you've met this person I get a strong kind of running away energy you run off with this person that's been around you but you're not sure whether it's really love or whether it's uh, something here that feels more like um, maybe an infatuation something that's providing you with some good times some fun but nothing really long term so I get you you struggling with both of these situations not knowing whether you're in love with this king of wands or whether you're in love with this other person who you may have met at work or at school while well, you've been busy 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 working towards a goal now this the masculine's energy here doubts and fears they've got the page of swords in reverse there seems to be some gossip surrounding this I feel like this is being talked about their hit word is getting back to them about what you're doing here Gemini who you're with and they are fearing the worst your external circumstances yeah we've got the ace of cups I feel like there's someone around you someone who you've connected with and uh, it feels like it feels like a new opportunity for for love their external circumstances is the two of wands yeah it, it feels like this choice that you're making I feel that that's you there making this choice between staying or going back to this uh, original partner which has some kind of long-term legacy associated with it I feel it's either family money or business money something that's connected that connects you here it, it feels like family it feels like uh, something that's very stable or this other situation here longing for more you know you may have been longing for more the outcome for you is, is the nine of swords in reverse the outcome for them is the world yeah uh, Gemini you, you may be deciding to
complete out this cycle with this with this other person here the, the masculine energy that I'm picking up uh, yeah uh, nine of swords in reverse I get this I get this feeling Gemini it's, it's a strong feeling that this masculine energy they still want you they still want you to be with them they may be offering you some kind of trip yeah I feel like they're offering you some kind of trip like a holiday a vacation a mini break you know let's see if we can get this back together let's see if we can make this work let's see if the passion is still there let's see if you still want this if you both still want this I feel that very strongly with the masculine energy you're undecided though which one of these things is is your true love you know eternal love I feel like you've got something very new although it's someone that you've known for a while and then you've got this other person here in which you've been in some kind of stronger commitment with so Gemini a bit of a dilemma here you're not sure which is the is your person and I feel this this fire sign energy here is someone who's offering you some kind of vacation or a mini break to work things out and you're not sure you're not sure if, if you want to do this or not because I feel that you're, you have a strong interest in this other person here but but then again you're not even sure about that one either so it feels like a lot of uncertainty here when it comes to making this decision whether you want this fire sign or whether you want this other person who seems to be around you at the present time Gemini goodness let's see before we go to the extended I'm going to get a card from the everyday witch oracle for you so if this one's resonating, please do join me in the extended reading. The link is down below in the descriptions box. It'll be about another 30 minute reading. I'll be going much more in depth, clarifying, looking at some more oracles to see where this is going, see what else I could pull out here from the energies around this. And uh, so if this is your story, please do join me in the extended. Again, the link is down below in the descriptions box. If you'd prefer a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com for more info. And also, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're a newcomer. Love to have you. And also, don't forget to check out my new channel memberships. If you'd like to be a supporter, uh, please do join my band of gypsies. The, uh, the join button is down below for more information. Or you can look in the, uh, the link in the box below as well. So let's have a look here, Gemini. Message for Gemini, please, for this reading. What does Gemini need to hear for mid-month to late October? Okay. Tears of joy and sadness. Yeah. It, it feels like joy that you found something new and yet sadness about this other situation. That's what it feels like to me. But yet this, I don't feel that you've completely ended it with this, with this fire sign or this king of wands energy, the masculine. But you're thinking about it. Yeah, there's a, there's a, it's a very strong energy here of, again, I get queen of cups energy here, which I had you at, at the beginning of the reading. You know, it feels like bittersweet. It feels like a very bittersweet kind of energy that I'm picking up here. It, it's possibly kind of that last vacation before you go separate ways, possibly that. But we'll, we'll see where this goes in the extended, guys. Again, the link is down below if this is resonating. Wishing you the best with this, Gemini. Please take care. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, speak to you soon. Have a happy Halloween.